Hi guys, welcome back to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. And I'm going to be working on another large canvas today, 12 by 24, in my neutral metallics. And from my last video, guys, the one I just posted, which was a straight pour, again, in my neutral metallics, because you guys know I love them. I did mention that I love vertical compositions, and I do, and I love narrow canvases. So I figured, why not try this waterfall technique? It is basically lifting and tilting the canvas and letting the paint fall down, hence waterfall. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and we're going to layer the cup and get started. So we have our cup here. And I'm just gonna open up my squeeze bottles. I've already shooken them a little while ago and uh, let them sit to try to help get the air bubbles out. And I'm going to be using a my metallic ready mix silver that is going to go around this as a base once the paint falls, or at least we'll see. So the first color I'm gonna start with is black. And uh, again, I just find it a little easier to pour right from the squeeze bottle. Um, where these are my go-to colors. We're gonna go and do some gold. And then we're going to put in a little bit of this gorgeous copper. Oh, I just love that color. And let's do some bronze. And then I'm just gonna alternate back and forth. Some black and some gold. Now these are the same colors that I used on um, my first video which was a wandering tree ring pour. It's actually one of my best videos so I will link the playlist at the end if you guys haven't already seen it. I mean look, just look how gorgeous that is. Absolutely stunning. Can't get enough guys, what can I say? I cannot get enough of these colors. And I'm excited to see what they look like with this technique. So again, I'm not putting any silver in the cup. This is all just going to be the neutral metallics minus that. I'm gonna be really careful with the, um, with the black and the copper. Both of them are really bossy, so they really like to take over. And again, with the waterfall, you're just letting the paint run down vertical. So you could use a little cup or any apparatus that you have to actually tilt um, the canvas. So what I'm just gonna do here, guys, just make like a U shape. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is the paint is flowing down vertical and it's gonna push this paint here and I am using the silver as the negative space. I'm just going to give it a quick torch. You guys remember me telling you, love this color, love the Artist Loft brand. Lots of air bubbles in it though, lots. Okay, I'm excited guys. I am excited to start. So you can pour towards yourself or you can pour straight down. And that's where my dilemma is right now. I'm, do I want to pour straight down or do I want to pour towards myself? And I think guys that I want to pour towards myself. Okay. And I may just help it. Oh well. I want to stop. That is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm just going to make a small border of black around here. 
This is my favorite way. Even though this is a different technique, it's so similar to how I really love to pour even before I started on YouTube. Again, I find I get my best compositions this way when I have a little bit more control over the creation and uh, the composition. Some air bubbles are just terrible. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, really quickly, is I'm gonna pull this back just enough over here. So you guys won't see very much for a second. And guys, the cells and the lacing that you see starting here, it's not going to be an explosion like my straight pour. Again, I will link that as well as the wandering tree ring pour um, in the video at the end. Uh, but it's definitely going to increase, I can tell you. 